YouTubers are infecting this earth. Hello, good morning. Happy Vlogmas. We are getting ready right now for our monthly Patreon live stream. It is the last live stream of the year. I'm very excited. We're going to make mold wine on the stream. And also this is our first stream in the new house. Um, and what else? We're playing Christmas categories. Here are the mold wine ingredients. See, 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 see. And then um, later today, I think I'm gonna do some more improvements to this corner. Huh? What am I gonna do, you ask? Well, look no further than like five more seconds into this video. On this night, people have come together in the square. I got so drunk on that stream. I can't even handle being alive right now. I think I'm not even alive. I think I'm not a person. I won categories though. So. We, ordered, we ordered Indian food, good. I'm supposed to put up curtains, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I wanted to improve this corner. Maybe I should improve it while drunk and then sober me will hate me for the rest of my life. So this is a good plan? Is that a good plan? Is that a good plan? Is it is a good plan? Answer me. Good morning. I have to go outside to get my crystal that I left charging in the moonlight. It was a full moon last night, so of course you have to charge your crystal in the full moonlight. This is actually the most moonlight I've ever seen, ever. Not ever. In a long time, because our old place, you could only see the moon like sometimes because the patio was so small. But here, I looked up and I saw so many stars and the moon, and it was all big and pretty. But anyway, hi. Hello, baby. How did you do? How did you do? Did you want some sunlight too? You want some sunlight? Oh my gosh. Look at you go. Look at you go. Amazonite is known as the gambler's stone. It helps balance your intuition as well as your intellect. So you're making logical choices, but also soul reads. And also, it's a stone of luck and auspiciousness. Abundance all the good stuff So I played poker last night. Duh. I made some really insane spicy hero calls That I don't want to go through right now. I know a lot of you don't care, but um, yeah, I was really it was really really fun uh, Really really fun. I also um, Called a hand from the big blind that I never would have called but I had just watched a poker video before I went to go play and they were talking about how you could defend pretty much any suited hand uh, from the big blind up to like five big blinds and get away with it. And so I had eight four suited in the big blind and someone raised a straddle to 35 and I called and I ended up with the most unlikely boat I have ever I ever had. The flop came four four jack and this lady was betting into me every time I checked and then I had an eight on the river, which made a boat. So I check raised her all in and I won a monster pot with four eight suited. Thank you. So yesterday I got so drunk on our live stream. So I tried to flash the camera like, like seven times and Steve wouldn't let me, which is good. But you know, Patreon people, I tried. I tried to give some Christmas gifts, but um, Steve wouldn't let me. I didn't want anyone to look at my butt though. That's the one thing I didn't want. Um, so hopefully no one did that. But then yeah, so I was so drunk. I ate some Indian food, some bomb ass Indian food, might I say. And then I took a four hour nap and I was so confused when I woke up because I went and took a nap at like two and I woke up at six and it was dark out because it gets dark so early and I was so confused. I didn't remember going to bed. I didn't know why I was waking up in the middle of the night. And then I looked at the clock and it was 6 p.m. And I was like, oh yeah, that happened. It's always weird getting up when it's nighttime out. Anyway, um, then I spent two hours going through some poker training and watching some poker videos and debating whether or not to go out. It was pretty cold outside, so I was also like all bundled up and I was like, should I? But yeah, I really think that 
time on the table is like a lot more educational than just studying uh, your hands alone. So I went and played and I won really big and it was really exciting. So I'm glad I did that. Now we have a bunch of kitties and I don't know where, where they all came from. Like, where did you all come from? I was out here alone and now they're all here. And I, I'm gonna do this corner. I swear I'm gonna do this corner. I have to go to Target. I realized I'm missing something. Something, you know, I'm always missing something from Target. And while I'm there, I'm gonna make these returns. So I pretty much have to go to Target. We have to go to Target. And am I just like leaving you in suspense on what's gonna happen in this corner? I'm so sorry that I'm not sorry. <laughs> Got him. What else? Oh yeah, so many more packages came in. I opened them without you, I'm sorry. But I'll show you what I got. Most of them were just presents, which also I have to wrap. Oh my God, it's only six days till Christmas. How did that happen? Also, we're driving in like four days. Christmas, you sneaky sneak. I thought everything was gonna be unpacked before Christmas. I underestimate everything. Anything else I wanna tell you? No, I'm gonna go get ready, go to Target, do something with that corner, you don't know. Don't try to guess, stop guessing. I'm literally gonna show you like right now. What did I say about carpet? This is why we can't have nice things. This is why we can't have nice, fluffy, cozy carpet because of these monsters. Okay, we are going to this insane looking Christmas thing. I saw a TikTok for it before we moved here and I really wanted to go to it. I put it on my bucket list. I thought, like, we have to go during Christmas season. It's open until January 2nd, so I was like, we're gonna go here. And then randomly, our friends Chad and V invited us to it. So we're going and we're going tonight. And it's so cute looking, like there's so many, there's so many gram ops. Uh, and so I was, having the age old debate of whether to dress for aesthetics or for comfort. Cause we live in a place that's actually cold now, like not fake cold, like LA cold where it's like 60 degrees and you're like, ooh, I'm freezing. But like actually cold, like so I was looking at the weather and it gets down to like 40 degrees tonight. And I know some of you are in the snow and you're like, that's not cold bitch. But that, I don't know what temperatures you're about to quote me, like, something sub 32 degrees Fahrenheit, that's not a real temperature and I refuse to believe it's real because I don't even want to imagine how cold that is because it's not, that's not real. You're lying, stop. It's 44 degrees right now. My little California body cannot handle that. So you don't know how many cute, like really cute, very cute, aesthetically pleasing holiday outfits I tried on before giving up <laughs> because I could not make any of them warm and all my warm outfits i could not make holiday aesthetically pleasing and i'm sad because i never get to wear those holiday outfits i just don't so i, I thought this would be a great opportunity but it's not happening i know that i'm a little tiny little baby and it's outside in a ballpark and we have to walk around and there's just no way that I'm gonna be okay after 10 minutes of walking around in that. Like, we'll get our one picture and then I will freeze my ass off the rest of the time. And I'll be so sad and miserable. And so I'm just taking care of future Nikki who is gonna, who would be really pissed if I had picked a really cute outfit for her. But since I'm going with the comfort version, we're going all the way comfort. So I got my snow jacket on, I got my snow boots on, I'm wearing tights underneath my jeans. Like, I'm not gonna be, Cold, I refuse, I'm not gonna be cold. I also brought gloves and a scarf. And I'm hoping that just wearing some lipstick and some um, kittens and coffee holiday accessories that I look uh, holiday-y enough for the gram. There's an ice skating rink. Here, we made it and it is so pretty, oh my gosh. I can't even capture how beautiful it is because the lights are so bright that it makes my camera not work, but it is so pretty. Also, this girl's here. She's she's all right, I guess Hi. she's pretty too. <laughs> <laughs> but me, there's hot Chad. Though. Look at that, oh, what? too hot for the camera. It's too hot, yeah. it's not working. <laughs> Look at how handsome he looks in his coat. He's wearing like real clothes. Look at my beautiful wife. Aww. Aww. Here. 
cute. Goodness. So we're going to, um, we ordered the VIP experience so we could get to go on the red carpet and then we get free drinks and that's all I read about that I... Oh, then it's next. And it's next. It's next. And it's next. When they go, just look for the red carpet. Just look for the red carpet and then go up it. And Will the bar be ready in time? I'm vlogging you. Oh wow. Very nice. Wow, what a star. Don't trip. <laughs> You're ruining my vlog, B. Vlog is ruined. The vlog is supposed to be really pretty. Oh my god. The vlog is ruined. The vlog is supposed to be really pretty. Wow. <laughs> Buffalo cauliflower bites. I got a maple bourbon apple cider and it's so freaking good. So, the first thing you do when you get here is you go past the vendors, then you get a drink, then you get free food, and then you go to the maze. This is all a maze. And I don't know how long the maze takes, but um, I heard that you should get a beverage and food before you go in the maze because, you know, you might not make it out. We got stopped because these two are really famous spy ninjas. If any of you have kids that are younger than 10, they will definitely recognize them. <laughs> you guys gonna fight some hackers in here? Oh yeah. I'm glad we're protected. Now, now we're even. Last time we were out, you guys tried to it. It's, a, it's a competition, okay? Uh -huh. I cut it out of the vlog, but I, I'll, I'll put it in now. I'll put it in now. First time going out. They just moved to Vegas and they're famous already. Yeah, what look at that? them. Now if only you could focus me. There we go. There we go, look at that. <laughs> Celebrities. Look at these famous people. I can't believe we're eating with famous people right now. Just so you know, it's even. Wee. So many places to go. Oh, I'm glad they have a bar in the middle. If anyone gets lost, meet yes. at the bar. Papa's out getting a tree while my sister and me are writing verses and rhymes. Soon they will be here. Same as it's funny. They're gonna do a Michael Jackson. Wow, you guys are cool. You guys are so cool. Oh. So you can do it. Can do that's it. pretty cool. Why don't you change the colors, baby? That's been yellow for a while. There you go. Okay, my favorite part. We're at the ice skating rink. Nobody wants to skate except for me. This one's too scared. This one just I'm, doesn't feel good. I'm with you. I'll go with you. Yeah, thank you, Chad. Someone wants to have fun. I'm like the kid that just wants to do the activities. Yeah, we're doing winter sports. We're doing winter sports in the desert. Look at it. It's actually really fun. Only uh, me and Chad wanted to skate because those other fools wouldn't do it. There. there they are. There they are. All oh. oh. <laughs> fantastic. Majestic. Regal. Beautiful. That was beautiful. Beautiful, right? Ten out of ten, Michelle yeah. Kwan. She will keep falling. Yeah. Well, the, the best thing is what's going on behind you guys. The line, how people. Oh wow! Oh, we're the line. It's literally a line of people who can't skate. Why are you doing this to yourselves? Why are you putting yourself through this? <laughs> like holding the wall like it's a life raft. Look how far back it goes. I love it. It goes all the way back. That's so funny. YouTubers are infecting this earth. <laughs> Keep yourself in there. Disgusting. We have to purge the YouTubers. That wasn't very cool. Not that cool. Nikki Limo, Speed Demon. Nice stunts, guys. <laughs> <laughs>